Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are taking a look at Bear Notes, which might be the best note-taking app for Mac and iOS. And a lot of people love this app. It is Markdown based. So if you're used to using Markdown, you can use that here as well. And I know that a lot of people like to use Markdown, but not necessarily see the Markdown. And they recently added a feature where you could hide your Markdown. We have different, um, things inside of our sidebar so we have untagged which is basically an inbox so if you create something which isn't tagged you can uh, find it inside of your inbox and an inbox feature is something I like in every note-taking app I use you have your to do's so task management can be done inside of here you have notes from today and you have locked notes as well as your crash. So everything you delete ends up here and you can delete it from there. Then we have the organizational method inside of this app and we have um, what's called tags, which works similarly to or similarly to folders, but it isn't folders. So a lot of you are used to tags, but what we have inside of here is actually nested tags. So let's say I wanted to create a new note. This is a new note. And once my new note here is done, I could give it a tag. Let's say we wanted to tag it writing and we wanted to tag it YouTube. I am struggling to write here. Let's try one more time. Uh, and YouTube like this and we can just write something down here we will close this up open it once more you can see that it is tagged YouTube so you have um, you have uh, tags inside of tags which is uh, quite a cool feature I think ample note has something similar to this so if you're used to using ample note the um, this a feature might be familiar to you but just in general it is a really simple note-taking app to use it removes all of the distractions which is really good a lot of note-taking apps right now have too many features this is basic simple to use it has everything you need uh, in order to be more productive and actually have uh, your notes stored somewhere and be able to find them later so easy ease of use is probably its best feature and i love um, a note taking app with tags instead of folders i like tags a lot more and um, tags within tags is also a really cool feature and uh, inbox features are quite good to have because uh, then you don't necessarily have to decide where a note should go once you have captured it. It can just stay inside of your inbox until you are ready to move it somewhere else. And I just wanted to say in general, a great looking app. I understand why a lot of people love this app so much. It is unfortunately only available for iOS, so that means Mac iPad and iPhones and inside of the iPad app you can actually do some sketching as well with an Apple uh, pencil which I use a lot to draw things and for my job so that's an added benefit of using an app like this as I said it has everything you need in order to start a productive 2024 it is a great looking note-taking app it is really fast as well and in general just simple and easy to use so if you're looking for a note-taking app on your mac uh, you can use this app and they have recently added some new cool features as well so instead of using markdown you can actually use this uh, menu right here so a lot of people might not be familiar with markdown you can use this instead 
and this will be a heading and you can even create tables inside of here or you could bold something out if you wanted to. So let's say I would want to bold this out or make it a to do or even make it a list. I could do that and there are commands for this as well. And you can even highlight it if you wanted to. You can add pictures and add a table here as well. So it has a lot of cool features, but mostly it is a basic easy to use note taking app which gives you everything you need to become more productive this year thank you so so much for watching today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again quite soon